yarn comes in many different fibers, so you have a lot of different choices depending on the project you want to make. Um, good choices for people who have allergies to wool or different animals are things like cotton and bamboo. If you have something that stripes, it's great to make a baby dress or something like that because babies tend to be sensitive. Um, the linen is also a good choice. Uh, it tends to be a little rougher before you wash it, but then once you wash it drapes and becomes really soft and beautiful. Um, another good thing for draping would be mohair or silk. They tend to drape and hang uh, and they come in a lot of beautiful different colors and textures. You can get things that sparkle, you can get things that have a little bit of a loft if you need that. Uh, another fiber that tends to be lofty is alpaca. Alpaca usually has a really beautiful sheen and when you knit with it, it's very, very warm. So you tend to not want to make something really big and bulky, but you can make something smaller like mittens or hats or even, you know, a, a sweater that has maybe shorter sleeves. Angora is very good for babies because it's incredibly soft. Better for smaller projects. It takes a lot to get Angora from a rabbit. So you get a small amount of Angora and make a tiny project with it. It's perfect. We now have t-shirt yarn, which they take old t-shirts, they cut them up, and then they strand them and wind them into a hank of yarn. And you can actually knit with that, which is a great for a summer project. Your basic yarn, yarn you'll probably find everywhere, is the merino wool. And you can get merino wool in solids or you can get it in stripes. Most merino wools, I mean good merino wools, are super wash wools where you can put them in the machine. Usually machine wash cold, lay flat to dry, they do really well. Uh, and you can also hold them together if you want something that's more variegated. And then we have stuff that's coming up now, which is really interesting, is like silk mixed with sea cell, which actually comes from seaweed and has really good antimicrobial uh, properties. It's very good at wicking sweat away from the skin. So you can make really interesting stuff with this, shawls, t-shirts, things that are good for summer weather. Lastly, you have the really textured stuff, stuff like mohair, stuff that has sequins in it. These are great for big shawls or as accents on smaller projects like gloves or maybe trimming on a hat or maybe the bottom of a sweater. And those are our fibers. Mm -hmm.